daily devotional ministry project of Krista Gojinabhaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, 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 daily abiding in Jesus Christ. July 14, 2020 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 17 But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy All come forth from their graves the same in stature as when they entered the tomb. Adam, who stands among the risen throng, is of lofty height and majestic form, in stature but little below the Son of God. He presents a marked contrast to the people of later generations, in this one respect is shown the great degeneracy of the race but all arise with the freshness and vigor of eternal youth. Christ will change our vile bodies and fashion them like unto his glorious body. The mortal, corruptible form, devoid of comeliness, once polluted with sin, becomes perfect, beautiful, and immortal. All blemishes and deformities are left in the grave. Restored to the tree of life in the long lost Eden, the redeemed will grow up, Malachi 4 verse 2, to the full stature of the race in its primeval glory. The last lingering traces of the curse of sin will be removed, and Christ's faithful ones will appear in the beauty of the Lord our God, in mind and soul and body reflecting the perfect image of their Lord. Oh, wonderful redemption! Long talked of, long hoped for, contemplated with eager anticipation, but never fully understood. The living righteous are changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye 1 Corinthians 15 verse 52. At the voice of God they were glorified, now they are made immortal and with the risen saints are caught up to meet their Lord in the air. Angels gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other Matthew 24 verse 31. Little children are born by holy angels to their mother's arms. Friends long separated by death are united, never more to part, and with songs of gladness ascend together to the city of God. By Ellen White, Great Controversy, pages 644 and 645. Our prayer for you today. Our loving Father in heaven, with our deepest humility, with bended knees and bowed heads, we seek your presence. You are all powerful, most holy, just, good in our loving Father. It is our desire that you give us the assurance of seeing Jesus Christ face to face when he returns for the second time and also the joy of living with him throughout eternity. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.